Welcome uh, to uh, Pareve TV. We are joined today by an Armenian talent, a giant, the founder, the artistic director, the principal conductor of the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra, Sergei Sampatyan. And he is now the talk of town in New York area. We are all excited to welcome you to New York area in Boston and Los Angeles, Sampatyan. Uh, uh, we would like to know how you feel about this uh, debut tour to the United States. There must be excitement within you and your team. What can you tell us? Thank you very much for your question. And exactly, yes. So we are more than excited and we are looking forward to perform because for musicians, I mean, it's not, not only about the famous the venue like a Carnegie and Boston Symphony. So it's a special, it's a special um, energy. It's a special occasion. And of course, we are very much enthusiastically excited to also to perform only Hachaturian, the program, the, because uh, we are very proud with our musical the traditions, but we have to keep in mind that we are lucky to have a hero like, like Hachaturian because his music is something special, something special for me as a musician and for my friends, for the artists of the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. So with within the frame of music of Hachaturian, we can consider that we have our Armenian symphonic culture. It's a symphonic identity, it's a symphonic story, it's a legacy of the greatest composer, and I'm more than excited to share this with um, a New York and Boston audience, and not only in two cities, but also uh, because this will be not my first time in Carnegie, mm -hmm. and I'm proud of this uh, as, a, as, an, as an conductor, not very old conductor, not, not very young, not very old, somewhere in the middle, but also to share because I I did Shostakovich Symphony in Carnegie. I did I mean they're different different the programs, um, big symphonies. But of course to share composer the Hachaturian because we are kind of our DNA of the orchestra uh, linked fully linked with the, his music. So that will be a special one. I'm very much lo looking forward. You know you mentioned Hachaturian hundred times in this uh, short interview already. And I'm sure there are many other composers you have presented in world stages. You've traveled all over the world. But is there one performance you really can think of, go back to, saying, we did it on the world stage? What was one very special moment and where was it? It's uh, Your question is very... It, it's very... Uh... Important because yes, Hachaturian. I'm mentioning all always the Hachaturian uh, during the day, during the work hour, during the rehearsal because he he is the headliner of our mot the motivation. And um, uh, so uh, go going going back to your question um, correctly. So let's in 2020 we did a huge European tour with nine concerts in the best the venues in like a Berlin Phil. Uh, music Verein and so on and so on. So like a top venues, top most famous venues, and we performed a symphony by John Tertatevosian. So mm -hmm. he's very talented, the composer, never performed outside of Armenia, never performed. And, you know, um, like a few years, almost a few years, I mean, when uh, people and friends of the orchestra are trying to mention and to describe the orchestra's identity. So we are getting the title as as um, ambassador of Armenian music. For me, music it's only classic. The music, sorry for my words, but that's the the music that for me. And yes, yeah, so Armenian State Symphony Orchestra now in our days, so we can consider our team, our orchestra, as ambassador of classic music legacy heritage and we are very proud of this because i was i mean for the long years i was studying outside of armenia but of course only with armenian armenian music we can be oh. as a as an individual as an individual um dna holder team and yes again going back and so the sorry for this for with Hachaturian's music we can present our uh, performing art level uh, speaking about our our music, and I think that will be a first time in U.S. And we are we are working for twenty four seven for Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. But after 80, 18 years of our active uh, 
work. So this will be a first time in the US and that's why it's very special for us. You know, I really mean it. We're very, very excited. I was talking to some friends who are from the Boston region and they are going to see you before us because you'll be there on the 26th and we will be enjoying you on the 27th. Uh, you just mentioned Hachadurian as a headliner. You know, we enjoy Gomidas, we enjoy Spendarian, we enjoy uh, Hachadurian, but we don't know these artists, these composers as well as you know, because your life has intersected with Hachadurian. What is the significance? What is the importance of Hachadurian to the Armenian nation? importance of Hajidarian is Armenian nation. So he is the most famous Armenian in the world and his name is much bigger than our space on the map. That's the first. His legacy giving me the opportunity to present myself on the world stage uh -huh. as equal. So we have Hajidarian. We have Hajidarian violin on the concerto that we will perform during our concert. We have a, uh, I mean, we, we, we have a, um, we have opportunity to present, I mean, us, let's say, Armenian, Armenian symphonic music through his, uh, through his legacy. And speaking about the big symphony, like a Khachaturian symphony number no. two, it's a masterpiece. It's very, very heavy, but it's the greatest masterpiece. And it's about how we sound. It's all for me. I mean, the the story story linked with the own harmony and own sound. So Hajjadrian is the way how we can sound and there's the Armenian uh, symphonic um, heritage. And of course, speaking about the Komitas, Spenzerian and many other greatest composers that before Hajjadrian. So it's like, it, it, that was the beginning. Mm -hmm. But now in our contemporary composing school, so Hajjadrian is a headliner of the idea and Hajjadrian is a headliner of the tradition of the, Armenian academic academic symphonic music and uh, again so all our uh, young composers let's say the generation after the Hachan going back because he is he is the founder of that meaning you know you speak about the young composers you are as I said you're very young I was really surprised when I uh checked your uh, your date you were born September 23rd. 1987 this was like yesterday and uh, you founded the uh, symphonic orchestra uh in 2005 how old were you then uh our first concert when i was 18 18 <laughs> 18 years old yeah so it was long ago but i mean if if someone just mentioned that how hard will be my i mean my working in the process with the orchestra i will never go there but again i'm very I'm very lucky because the all my life, I mean, if I can call it success, if I may to use this word, so um, it's only because we have a we have a beautiful and very um, uh, aesthetic, I mean, let's say, in a way of the music. So we have a very dear, I mean, feeling about the orchestra. I'm speaking about the, my friends, our team. So friends that we found the orchestra. So until now we're working together because we created the orchestra around the big vision, global, lifelong division with a very, um, very, very concrete idea. So we love the music and we want to create something mutual. Then music will keep us together. And now it's called, I mean, Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. And we are very proud to share this the, the value with our listeners, with the friends. And yes, if I may call it the success of life, I, I have to say that I'm sharing this with my friends. And I was 18 years old, but the, but the problem is not the age. The problem is the idea. Or the and talent. In Armenia, 18 years ago, we I mean we prove ourselves that we can create the value that can present the Armenia on the different level. You know, we speak about in Armenia, we call them Boske Gamurj, golden bridges between diaspora and Armenia. And I really, really believe music is a Boske Gamurj, is a golden bridge that connects the diaspora to Armenia and music is very powerful. I'm sure you know that and you can maybe give us an idea. My question to you is, where did this all begin for you? What kind of influence, what kind of a gift did you get? A violin, a cello when you were young or a guitar? How did it all begin? 
Uh, my grandmother, she ah. she is the hero of my life. So ah. she was my first teacher. She's very she was very famous. I mean, um, person in musical world. She was for the long years. She was a director of our main music school after Tchaikovsky. Mm -hmm. So my father, he is a composer. He's a pianist. So it's like a musical background. So my grandmother, she studied with the most most famous violin teacher. So it's a family tr tradition. The other story, then when I was 16 and I went, when there was a kind of success, uh, I was a violinist, violinist since, mm -hmm. since four. I was four years old when when was the decision that I want to play violin. And after this, um, when I was 16, my grandmother recognized that I have some kind kind of, I mean, um, um, emotions to, to, to do something more than only violin. Mm -hmm. And her idea was that I need to study conducting. And after two years' time, there was my debut concert with our orchestra. That's a beautiful story. Uh, you mentioned you were a violinist. And obviously, we all know by now from social media and the flyers that Sergei Khachatryan, the great violinist, will be uh, joining you. Could you give us a word about Sergei's talent? Because the world is talking about him too. Sergei, first of all, he is the greatest talent, greatest friend of the orchestra. He yeah. also, I mean, extremely important for us to share our, I mean, very important moment with a dear friend. And, you, you know, when we compare violinist instrument, I mean, let's say the, the instrument, we always try to keep, I mean, just to keep the idea that the, the professional talent and so on and so on. But Sergei is, Sergei, he is the, brightest example of um, success of the musician uh, only through his talent and the vision that what what an individual person can change the mindset because i know so many professionally i know so many i mean professors mus the, the musicians listeners i mean in general lovers of the classic music so they 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 discover Armenia through sergey bro because there is a there is a I mean um, long story of his success, but I have, you know every time to go on stage with such talent with such a dear person, um, it's a very interesting and very uh, 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 let's say uh, it's it's kind of also responsibility mm -hmm. to share, to share stage with with such a talent and. I'm more than looking for the, the forward for this, especially Khachaturian violin concerto. Of course, we love to speak about our, the, the music that Armenian the music can play, the Armenians, but Sergei performed like, like a different violin the concertos and recognized as the best, the performer. So in general, he is bigger than only Armenian music, the performer. And again, I'm very much looking forward for this. You know, we'd like to see Carnegie Hall full with the all the people, it's a huge hall. Uh, what can you tell listeners? What would you like to address listeners with to encourage them to attend? And, you know, you would, you would like to see a whole full house. Of course, we want to see the full house and that, that will also change the chemistry in the, the room. And, of course, uh, uh, the, the first first idea and the, the request, because this will be the first time of Armenian the, the State Symphony in U.S., Right. It's a unique orchestra. It's a unique orchestra with the generation gap between the, the musicians. So we, all of us, we are one generation. All of us, we are coming from the one conservatory. So it, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful example of team. So we are very proud of uh, with our Armenian traditions, persons, individuals, and opportunities. But we don't have so much. I mean, like let's say team success. The stories. And Armenian State Sym Symphony Orchestra is a perfect match oh. when art, music, classic music, heritage, and the vision for future, it's beautiful mix of the young generation living today in Armenia oh. and thinking and living the, the music. That's what we believe in. And that will be great if people can come. And I'm more than sure that with them, with the sense of the understanding that it's a really unique orchestra with your with the story with the mindset with the storytelling i mean for future with the vision so i uh, i think that this can be a life changer tool for us